Welcome back to the lecture series on uh, project report preparation. In this lecture, we will see how to insert tabular data. So it's very common that uh, in a project uh, report, you would like to present a lot of data as effectively as possible. And a table is uh, a mechanism with which you can effectively present the table, pre effectively present the data rather than embedding the data in the text. So let's see how to insert and uh, format the table and uh, create a cross reference to the table in the body text. So we go to the insert uh, tab. In the insert tab, you have a lot of entities that can be inserted in your project report. So I'll choose table and maybe depending upon the number of columns you need, you choose either uh, three or four columns. I'm choosing a four column table. So this default style is good enough for us, but because the body text has uh, double spacing, this table also has uh, double spacing, double line spacing. So let us adjust some uh, basic properties. So you will do it only once because you can make it as a template and then subsequently you can copy and paste this template and modify it according to your requirements so that you will not be needed to go through this process again and again. So select the table. I don't want any different first column. So go to the table style options and uncheck the first column and uncheck banded rows because we don't want uh, any banded rows and then let me go to the paragraph so let me go to the home and then paragraph and then double spacing let me make it a single spacing so automatically the spacing changes from sing double to single spacing and now we see that the table occupies the entire page which is typically not the case so once again, we select the table properties. As I told you already, we'll do this only once. We will not do this again and again. Table properties. And in table properties uh, dialog, you have uh, table, row, column, cell. Multiple tabs are there. And in the table tab, I'll say preferred width. And I'll choose four inches. Maybe uh, you can expand it. The length can, the width can be increased or decreased in future as you edit the edit the data. So initially, let us uh, suppose that uh, it will be having a width of uh, four inches. So I'll say okay. Right, the width got reduced. Now I'll center it. So now it seems to be reasonable. So if you want to have an additional column, okay, you can uh, add an additional column and uh, increase the width as you type the data automatically the table uh, column will increase in size so don't think that we have fixed the size of the table we set the preferred width for the time being and now as you insert columns and then edit data the length of the the width of the table keeps on uh, increasing fine because presently the style is body text that is the reason why this table is formatted with a double spacing and full width of uh, the paragraph. So that's the main reason. So now we changed it to, for the table, we changed it to single line and then width also has been changed. And then the first row normally is a header now in which the text is centered and then kept in bold and it is a times new roman 11 all the data in the table is one font smaller than the font of the text the body text so maybe typically because i have centered it automatically everything will be centered maybe serial number name and then you say registered number and then you say maybe gpa or cgpa Suppose you feel that serial number is taking too much of a width because you only have numbers. 
so you can uh, decrease its width you can increase the width of the name if the name is flowing in two lines probably you can increase the width here and then you can reduce the gpa you can reduce the register number width so it's all dynamically you can change it because anyhow these uh, aspects of the table vary from table to table because it depends on the kind of data is accommodated by the table so you cannot escape that adjusting the widths of the columns and then uh, adjusting the width of the table so this is uh, inevitable but you can create a basic uh, template and then modify it as you need so now probably you will have some data one here it depends once again how would you like to center it suppose this cell you would like to center it you can center it names are best left justified or justified so it is better to justify maybe i'll type my name here some register number okay white and acs 400 gpa 8.9 maybe you would like to you know center this gpa so you can say center and then add to maybe you will say nazir shaikh and then y 10 acs 401 the gpa 9.8 and as i said uh, this text should be font level the table text is one font smaller than the body text so this seems to be fine but of course we need to have a caption so let me select the table after inserting as many rows uh, as needed and formatting in this way we'll go to references tab once again and then say insert caption and then go to the caption text box go to the end of it but you find that here the label is figure the default uh, label that appears is figure but what i want is table so now the label will start with the table and then it should be the above selected item for figures it is below the selected item so i go to the caption text box and then go to the end probably give uh, a space and i say student details and then i say okay and as i said earlier when we have captioned the figures we have already seen the caption style so this caption also automatically gets the same style so if you look at the properties i don't want to modify so it is font 11 times new roman bold so everything is fine so table 2.1 and student details maybe you want to explain this table 2.1 by inserting a cross reference so i'll go to once again references tab and then say cross reference i have a lot of things which can be cross reference i will choose table for the time being i have only one table student details so do i need the entire caption no i want only label and number so i'll say insert so close this dialog box and then continue editing your text table 2.1 shows the details of the students so that's how you can have a cross reference and as i said uh, in the case of figures by any chance if the figures gets reordered and the new figures get inserted automatically the labels change and the cross references also change but of course they do not change automatically you need to select them and update the fields or there is a small hack go to file and then take a print view and once you take a print view all the fields are automatically updated 
so that's how you can update or you can make the changes reflect in your document whenever you additionally insert figures and tables rearrange them and reorder them and uh, we have a paragraph here uh, which makes lot of uh, space between the table and uh, the paragraph so what i do is i go to home and then there is one more paragraph here between the table and uh, the subsequent paragraph so i will choose no spacing style so that i will choose no spacing style so the space between the table and the subsequent paragraph is reduced otherwise you will have an additional paragraph which appears between the table and uh, the text of the paragraph so that's how no spacing style is good enough and now i would like to tell you how you can avoid repetition of all these activities you can avoid repetition by taking this table as a template and using it whenever you want and if you feel like modifying it you can slightly modify it by increasing the number of columns and decreasing the number of columns so to accomplish that i will select the entire thing the table and no spacing paragraph after the table then i go to insert and then in the text group there is something called as quick parts so in quick parts you can save the selection to quick part gallery and name this as a thesis table i have already created this once in my earlier demonstration so what i do is i go to quick parts and then i'll delete this organize and delete so that you will learn how to delete it if you do not want you can delete it also so i'll delete it so it will ask you whether it should be deleted or not okay i'll delete it and then say yes yeah it has disappeared close so now i want to make it as a quick part i would like to define it a quick part so let's see the uh, description of quick parts insert reusable pieces of content including fields document properties such as title and other or any pre formatted snippets you create i believe table involves too many things rows and then uh, caption all these things number of columns and the header row is formatted in a separate way individual uh, rows are formatted in a different way so it is worth creating a quick part for the table so save selection to quick part gallery it uh, asks for a name i'll say project table or data table let me call it as data table so it's a data table project data table i'll say okay fine so now you realize that i have a quick parts table here named as data table here you can see the name data table now let me go to 1.2.1 somewhere here okay and then go to quick parts and then insert the table there is an additional paragraph that has appeared just i remove it by pressing backspace okay or i can do one thing enter 